This is Linda of Christ is King Forever. So today I want to talk to you about the three different um, translations of fear found in the Bible and what each of them means. But first and foremost, I want to talk about the, the moves that the, the, the church is making. Okay, so there's a separation happening between the church and the worldly folks, the liberal Christians and the conservative Christians, because it's already happened in the Jewish faith, all right? I, I watch people who are Jewish online, and they're like, listen, there's a, there's conservatives here, and then there's the liberals here. Like, there's just no mixing. So, um, listen, there's a breaking away of a Pharisee, a Pharisee, a Pharisee type spirit. Because remember, the Pharisees, the Pharisees were very offended. They're easily offended, and the Holy Spirit's been working on me like that's a weak thing to be offended. Because when you are offended, you got no tools left. When you have the King of Kings, the Lords of Lords, you're not you're not David, the Shepherd David, arguing with the King about whether or not you're strong enough. Because he's so offended that the guy's like, oh, you're just a boy, you're just little, you don't have armor, you don't got this. You don't. Well, he could have been offended. He could have been offended when he saw that lion. But that takes away your ability to act efficiently and accordingly, to get to step in. Whenever I get that pharisaic issue, which it happens, um, and boy, Trump will bring it up, won't it? Because it's like, well, Trump does this, Trump does that, Trump does And the Holy Spirit's like, and such, is, such are you. And such are you. And that's why he's extremely humbling. Because despite the fact that I am not a, hu a perfect human being, my house gets run in like a Christian home. Not not perfect, but as best as I can do as of right now, from what I can see as of right now. With time, I'm looking to evolve. But um, my house is running like as as strong of a Christian home that I can make it as of right now. Because, you know, I know that I'll be I'll be stronger in the future. So at the end of the day, if we're so quick to point figure fingers and say, "But look at him! But look what he does!" This that's a that's a fair that's a Pharisee spirit. The other thing is, this is a perfect opportunity when race issues are coming up to say, "By the way, in the truth of Christ, we we don't suffer those things because we're not allowed to." If you're a Christian and you're talking race issues, I don't know. You better readdress it whether or not you're a Christian. If you're looking at somebody and you're saying, well, because they're this color or because they're that color, they should think this or they should think that, you might want to reevaluate whether or not you're a Christian. Because at the end, and I'm not telling you you have to think a certain way. What I'm saying is, if you're racist, I mean, do you really think that as many people, people say there are a lot of Christians in this world, and especially in America, that racism could really be a thing if there's that many Christians? How can racism be a real thing if that's real, if there's that many Christians? I'm not saying racism doesn't happen. I'm not saying people's hearts don't need to be checked. They do. Like I said, I just get my heart checked all the time. I just told you I get my heart checked. I told you how I got my heart checked. It happens. But if you have the Holy Spirit, if you're guided by Jesus Christ, he's the one who opens our ears. He's the one who, who unhardens our hearts. And if all the world had this, the world would move and feel and think differently. It would come against the beast and his strategy so much more easily, and wouldn't be duped and tricked as easily. And let me tell you something: if you're if you are a Christian and you're moving, you're saying, "Well, I'm a Christian," da da da, and you're moving in the way of the world, and Hollywood is patting you on the back, and you know um, you're seeing these rat, you're seeing little Wayne just uh, came on to endorse the platinum program. They're saying he endorses Trump. I don't know if he does, but little pump is endorsing the platinum program. Um, Ice Cube and of course 50 Cent came on and well, Kanye of course 50 Cent came in and said I don't like the tax bracket of, of Biden and then he left again because they got you know they got nothing to stand on they don't have their brothers and sisters in Christ going I might not look like you but you know what in Christ it doesn't matter at the end of the day what burdens you what hurts you is my problem too because Jesus says so because I'm accountable to you because you are made in the image of God regardless of what your skin tone is and when it comes to the um, offense spirit, the the being offended, it's a it's a type of Pharisee spirit. So we got to be very careful because when you're running with God, you don't need to be offended by anything. You know, you, you just keep you just keep you know spiritually hightailing it because what offense does it stops you dead in your tracks. And it says, but I mean, don't you think that as a white person or Hispanic person, that these people owe you something, or don't you think that? Um, uh, for for these people, we should be bowing down to this idea or to that. That's what it's doing. It's stopping your pace. 
But what you say is you pray uh, the, the power of the Holy Spirit over that principality and you bind it right up. Why? Because it's a type of self-worship. It's a type of saying, but you owe me something. It's a type of Pharisee type of... Um, because of history or because of you know some some boogie monster idea I'm owed something you should honor oh, how could you offend me as a woman well my spirit is not a woman how could you offend me as a white person or as a Hispanic person my soul is not Hispanic or white keep it moving find that spirit send the line of Judah that way and keep going that's how you do it because at the end of the day, these people will stop you dead in their tracks and they'll say, but, but they're offending you. You see, like, well, okay, how about the saints of old? The saints of old were lined up with Jewish people in the concentration camps and laying down their life for their, their Jewish person. They weren't Jews, but they were laying their life down for them. Uh, Christian people right now are taking on the one cheek and offering the other. There's no room for offense in Christianity. There's no room. Because at the end of the day, when all these things play out and it might play out and maybe the Christian order in the Christian way it's going to be a point it's not going to play our way anymore and we're going to have to line up and if you're the Christian on the side of the world right now is the way where this is the beginning of the peeling away and you're going to look at those Christians over there the ones maybe voting for Trump or voting for Biden or whoever and you're going to start judging them which I, I actually think that the Biden crew is not the way it is biden's not the way i'm gonna peep it real. don't don't vote for biden <laughs> don't vote for biden um he's got that he's got a new plan coming out where he's gonna do an lgb type thing and oh my gosh oh my gosh letting transgender children choose to be transgender uh, without their parents consent oh no oh no anyway you're gonna look at that other side and it's one thing to, to say i don't appreciate your opinion but you know what we're faith family politics we're going to be in heaven together whatever you know this world's going to pass away anyway whatever because that's how i feel it's like listen i i don't like the biden idea but i'm not going to hate anybody who does okay it's like picking a dog with less fleas what do i care i mean at the end of the day they're both going to be judged by god they're not my king who do i care but when somebody needs that to be a reason to hate you or to beat you up or to you, you know emotionally put you down or tell you you're a racist Oh, this is about something else. This is a principality issue. And these are the same people running with the world. They're pro-abortion. They're pro, um, your skin color matters. Like, yeah, every soul matters. Uh, if every police officer had the Holy Spirit, there would not be people kneeling on anybody's neck. If every person in the world didn't fight the police officers, there wouldn't be a need to take a physical, um, ain't arms against uh there would be no reason for cops to have guns if they weren't there to de defend themselves and i don't think this is a race issue i mean i know people see it as a race issue but it's a principality it's taking something it's creating a boogie monster and listen i guess it's easy for me to say and somebody would say well she's a she's a white person but if you're in christ and you can show me the statistics which i looked at the statistics it doesn't look like what the cnn says uh, then it's my problem and one person losing their life for that reason it's my problem that's why I say if every police officer had the Holy Spirit and if every black person white person Hispanic person every nation had the Holy Spirit these things wouldn't be a conversation we'd be rising up and evolving as people but no instead it's like should a police officer be able to defend himself without rioting happening and it's just an excuse to write it push comes to shove it's just an excuse to write it's just an excuse to get ours it's just an excuse to push an agenda based on skin color because when people really understand and they really know when push comes to shove if it was what it appears to be it wouldn't move and act the way it does and i'm going to keep it real and I don't care what skin color you are. And you know, if you come against my brother and sister in Christ and tell them that they have to vote a certain way because of their skin color and not their dedication to the Lord who is in heaven, then me and you got problems because your problem isn't with just them or just me. It's with the Holy Spirit and the one who it represents. You can't tell people to vote based on their skin color. Now, if it's about their community, the Platinum Program works very well for their community. My point is the Holy Spirit is the only way this is going to work out. I can't. 
if I size that enough. But nobody, you know, at the end of the day in this world, not everything's going to happen that way, but I send the line of Judah to whatever offense, and I bind all principalities and powers in Yeshua's name. I come from a very mixed family, so I'm just having a hard time understanding how we're not so mixed that this is even a conversation. But anyway, um, there's this word in Hebrew called pashad. It means to shake. There's this word in Hebrew called hera, era. I'm pronouncing it wrong, but it's it's uh, spelled y i r a h, and it means awe of God. So these things are interchangeable in the Old Testament, where they tend to say fear, fear, fear for both of these in the Old Testament, but really they kind of mean two different things. They're even two separate words in Hebrew. So I think that's kind of important. When it comes to, like, because I've said in the past in my other videos, I've said we should have the fear of the Lord. And um, my people at uh, my sisters in Christ haven't corrected me, but I've been corrected by other people outside of the technological stuff. And it has been like, oh, we shouldn't fear God because God is love. And at the end of the day, uh, yes, we should have a reverence and a fear of God. And it's a reverence. It's like a healthy fear. It's not like a, um, I'm so afraid I can't function fear. It's something that fills up the Holy Spirit in a way that's, um, it's a, it's a boasting in the Lord. It's like, wow, look at God go. It's amazing. Uh, you don't, if you have God on your side, you don't need to be offended. Just send God to the principality, send the Holy Spirit to the principality, send those, bind up and, and loosen the angels upon it and it'll be gone and keep running the race, right? And then you got the New Testament has the word in first second Timothy second Timothy the second Timothy one seven it talks of uh God does for God has not given us a spirit of fear um or timid or being timid but a power of love and self self discipline so that type of fear is a cowardliness, so we are not to be cowardly, and I feel like we get to stand on. The truth of God so you can't be 50 cent and be like you know I feel this way but I really care about what people think who look like me so it makes me feel like I'm a traitor to my community knowing good and well people of God care greatly about all communities clearly if you're anti-abortion you're anti the the, the, the um, eugenics program set in place in order to keep the population of African Americans low clearly it's on your heart clearly you love everybody um but anyway but I, they don't want to appear a certain way to the world because they care what the world thinks christians the the agenda the plan not, not i mean i know it's not always in our plan but uh when i was fellowshipping with my sisters in christ the other night we were reading about how there's a guy who um who was escaping you know uh, the holocaust and he couldn't he, he did actually get freed out of it he did get security and get get freed from it but uh he ended up going back because he said and and now i have security but my my brethren are suffering and i can't be there to help them or assist them from a distance i can't assist them if i'm over here so that really convicted me man it really did because that's what we all want we all want security we all want not to be afraid we want our families to be without struggle but if it's in christ and if it's about the truth that it's expected i mean he said if they hate you, they hated me first. So we can't be cowardly. I expect I expect 50 Cent to be somebody who would stand down. I don't expect a fellow Christian to stand down, though. So when 50 Cent was standing down, what's telling about Little Wayne is he stood up. And he does talk about praying. And he did take a picture with Trump. So I don't know. To me, that speaks volumes. It's like I can see the way people step. And I can see where they're where their heart really is and who what they're listening to um listen again i've i've talked about how it's been humbling to be like i don't understand what trump does and what he says but but to have the holy spirit always respond back and such are you you know he's worked if you read the bible and read about every character that's ever existed in the bible the only one who did really right by god king david the little boy who beat goliath grew up to be a man who committed murder and adultery let's talk about it this is linda of christ is king forever may god be with you